I'm going to be honest, my soulmate doesn't have three or more kids. One kid, cool. Two kids, you doing too much, but I could still love you. Three kids, you just not for me. I'm sorry. Like, bro, that I don't fit into the equation, especially if I don't have any kids of my own. No, because, like, bro, what do I look like having a fourth kid with you and then three other kids by someone else? I got to play super stepdad. I don't even want my personal family to be that big. You feel me? So... You just not for me, man, but I, there's someone out there for everyone. You feel me? Maybe you could meet another dude that also has three kids, you know, single dad, and y'all just create a whole army and go crazy. You feel me? Everyone got their preferences, but I'm just letting y'all know, like, three kids, like, I don't care what you tell me. You and your baby daddy are never going to be done. <laughs> you feel me? You got to see your baby daddy every month. And I can't. I'm not mature enough. I can't handle that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, like truly, I'm 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 genuinely sorry. A few moments later. Yeah, no, it could just be me. That's a woman with three kids. It did not make me feel no type of way when that man got up here and said his soulmate is not no hoe that done sat up and popped her pussy and made three of them motherfucking things. Cause bitch, guess what? If I had no kids, my soulmate wouldn't be no man that done sat up there and fucked for three of them things. If I had zero goose egg, why would I want to be with somebody with three kids? I'm sorry, y'all hoes be getting offended. You know why y'all be getting offended? It's because some of y'all really know y'all just was popping them bitches out. Just popping them out. Like, like there was no consequences. I'ma tell you this. Bitches could take offense to it. I don't give a fuck. Be being realistic. Some of you hoes are 25, under 25, fuck 25, 25 and under with three plus baby daddies and three plus kids. Bitch, you never gave life a chance to know anything or understand anything. I don't know if you thought the baby was going to keep the men around. No, but all them kids, all them different men, and y'all want to argue with somebody because they said that nine times out of 10, they wouldn't look at you and feel like you they soulmate. Bitch, I wouldn't either. Because obviously you, you don't know a motherfucking thing, bitch. You got, got three times already. Why would I be number four, bitch? Come on, be real. Then also, no shade. Y'all be having all these fucking kids for all these different men. Never seen no motherfucking ring. I ain't never seen shit but the motherfucking delivery room. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wouldn't. Baby, I'm sorry. I, I wouldn't come over there neither. I wouldn't be over there neither. The bitch got three different sets in the house. I'm not coming over there, bitch. You got GDs, Bloods, and Crips in the same motherfucking house. I'm not coming over there to kids beefing. I already know what the fuck is going on. Because from somebody that went from one straight to three, oh, one child, that's five kids. Two children, that's 20. Three children, 40 motherfucking five. I got 45 motherfucking kids. And then got a nerve to have a bonus child too. And before somebody said, you supposed to come, listen, I keep that shit cute. Everybody don't like for you to claim they child like that. You got to make it be known that that's not your biological child. So, yeah. So, yeah. But when you add her in, really, I got 60 kids. The fuck? I don't shit, That's a lot of fucking kids. <laughs> they, whoa, it's a lot of fucking kids. That is a common thing now. And this bonnet wearing young lady right here is a riot. This is comedy. And, of course, anytime someone, a man, expresses his preference, there's going to be an issue in terms of single mothers and you see this you can just go through social media and there's no knock on them but you feel like you're just on equal playing field as other women and even Derek jackson has gotten you thinking a certain type of way or that you still got it that you still deserve a certain type of man or a high value man but it's just crazy and she's just telling you what it is just because a man expresses preference about his soulmate is not going to be a single mom with three kids, even though some people say you could be missing out. Uh, nah, and I, I get it. It's the same way with, you know, single dads. A lot of people say, why can't it be single dads? Why can't it be the same way with single dads? And there was a video. I might put it in here for you guys to check it out. Guy talks about Nick Cannon, he, him being a father with all these kids and Women are still lining up. Look at Nick Cannon. There's See women lining up to be next. You know why? Don't count Nick Cannon. His value as a man is so high, they can overlook him having 10 baby mamas and they'll sign up to be their love. But you could say he's the exception, but it's a lot of men with money that are exceptions when it comes to that. But a man saying that this is a potential soulmate, man, come on. But she had a follow-up video. Let's get into it.
Mm, don't try to make me the exception because you like me. Because, baby, I that was willingly. Me and Chop miscarried twins, spent the block for them. We did that shit on purpose. There was nothing unwilling about that. I could tell you the exact fuck it took to make them. Was looking in each other's eyes, telling each other all the right things. Speaking that shit in existence, we did that on purpose, baby. All the difference between me and these other hoes is I didn't keep going and collect baby daddies like in Finney Stone. You know how they say make your next move your best move? That's my husband. That's the only difference. <clears throat> That's the only difference. I know. That's my last stop. Chill, I don't have one of those accidentally popping up pregnant with twin stories. Yeah, we, we meant that. Them are rainbow babies slash little children. We meant that shit. Say so y'all be collecting baby daddies like infinity stones. Sheesh. She popped that pussy on a Monday. <laughs> she never falls in love. Oh, no, I think that's that weekend. But anyway, she is roasting y'all. This is a married woman. And I guess they tried to roast her, but she had something for you. And a lot of y'all will say, well, JR, at least I had my kids. There's plenty of women who would be single moms, but they went to the Smortion Clinic and deleted the baby. Different strokes, different folks. But a lot of y'all ladies thinking that you can keep a man. A lot of you thinking that it's the way to go. Most women aren't on birth control. Don't ask for you to strap up. None of that. And you'll always say the man, the man, the man, the man. But no, it's you, 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 you. It's your body. It's easier to invite someone inside. And that's just that. You got to be more careful, man. You got to be more careful and cut out all the foolishness and stop thinking that you deserve a certain type of person. But let's get on to my man, Javon. Let's hear what he had to say. Let's go. I just talked to a sister two hours in my inbox. I really wanted to help her, but I told her in the first five minutes and she cried and cried and cried and I finally got her to see. Baby girl, when you were in high school and in your 20s, you was fast assing. You was using your body to get what you want. You was dating the dope boys, you was dating the cool guys, and you was flying out to Atlanta into the all-star games. That's what you were doing. She said, yeah. I said, now you're 35. What's your credit score? 640. Do you own a home? No. Do you got kids? Yes, two. What's your career? Are you a nurse? Are you a teacher? No, I work at Walmart. I said, baby girl, you have absolutely nothing to give a man but washed up pussy and headache and responsibilities. You don't have nothing to give a man. You don't own a home, you got poor credit, you don't have a career, and you got two kids, and you got the nerve to be shaking your funky ass on social media, won't sit down. What do that man get from you? She said, damn, you right, I fucked my life up. I said, you did, and now live with it. She said, so I ain't gonna never have a man? I said, yes, you can have a man. It's gonna be Theodore or Cleophas. The guy that wanted you your whole life that you never wanted, he'll take you now. Shout out to Javon, Modern Masculine Man. I believe he still goes by that on social media. You guys go follow him. Javon always gives the ladies the raw, hard, uncut truth in reference to this. And I agree with him. I tell ladies the same thing. You can never tell a woman she'll never get a man. It's just the man that she's looking to clean up after the fact. Because I truly believe a woman's preference doesn't change. The same type of guy she liked when she was 18 is the same type of guy she likes when she's in her 30s, 40s, and 50s. She'll be willing to settle for the other type of guy that he said to Cleophas and whatnot because they know that he's willing to simp, has assets, will take care of you and your children. But that's not really who you want at the end of the day. You still want those dope boys and those dudes that you was chasing after in your 20s. That's just the nature of it, man. But cold world, let me know what you guys think. No, comment below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Much blessings in abundance. Stick around for the next videos. It's going to pop up on the screen below. That's where I'm going to see you guys at. It's your favorite everything. This is wisdom. Let's run it up to one million. Quit playing with me. Peace. Ah!